What's up guys, Double Dog Gamer here. Today we are playing a really unique game that has finally been released to Steam. This is Boundary. Boundary is an FPS shooter that takes place in the vacuum of space. So you fly around with your spacesuit and all your different weapons and battle other people in different spacesuits all around derelict space stations and features six degrees of freedom of movement. So you can go up, down, side to side, flip around, change your orientation at will. This game has been shown off quite a bit. Uh, I've done videos on it for the closed alpha and closed beta testing, um, but it's finally here on Steam and it's such a unique FPS experience. It breaks up, you know, I say this all the time, most FPS games are pretty much dime a dozen. You're getting the same experience, just different weapons and maybe a few little quirks here and there. But this is so different. Um, the movement in it, the atmosphere in it, the gameplay in it is so unique that it's definitely worth taking a look at. But before we get into the meat and potatoes and talk a little more about Boundary, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, Sonorant Desert Institute. If you're looking to get into the world of gunsmithing, there is no place better than Sonoran Desert Institute. They take the GI Bill, they have tons of courses that'll teach you everything you need to know about being a quality gunsmith. And let me tell you, as someone that breaks guns constantly, like fouls and AKs, finding a good gunsmith is becoming harder and harder and harder. It's a huge in-demand industry. And if you're looking to take that path, definitely check them out in the link in the description below. Boundary has your normal kind of class system with most FPS games. You have your assault, your sniper, your recon, and your medic. The recon is a, a lighter suit which has better thrusters to be able to maneuver around faster. Your assault actually has this like liquid gel that helps with bullet resistance because you think about it, it's the vacuum of space. The second it gets penetrated, um, your suit's basically gone. So it has kind of a level of armor to tank more rounds. Your medic kind of does its no normal medic stuff and the sniper of course and carry these badass sniper rifles all the weapons are highly customizable whether you're barrel size stock optic etc etc there's tons of customization for it you can carry primaries and secondaries there's just a really a, a ton of things you can do with this game that keeps the replayability there when it comes to the gunplay, it's really awesome. Because of the six degrees of freedom, you're everyone's strafing all over the place with their maneuver vehicles that they have attached to the back of them, just floating around there. Uh, when you do reloads, watching the mag float away into space. When you kill someone, their weapon floats away and just doesn't stop because, well, that's how space is. Um, it's also kind of funny because if you think about it, every time you fire a bullet, that bullet's gonna travel forever. So in a universe somewhere far, far away, some guy's just gonna be out doing a spacewalk and be like, one small step for man and gets hit by a bullet that was fired a thousand years ago it's kind of hilarious but the gunplay in this is very very satisfying um the classes aren't too tanky you can take a few hits um, where you actually have to patch your suit you're you'll start running out of oxygen in your suit um so there is kind of a medical system to it though you you are pretty soft so if you start taking a lot of hits you're gone um if you penetrate the helmet well it's game over it's space unfortunately one of my big complaints with the game is that the maps are pretty much all the same. It's a small little space station that you kind of move through. Uh, there's not a lot of interior space. It's all outside. You can't really get too far from it or you start taking micro meteor impacts and it damages your suit. Um, so the maps are very generic in the sense. There's not a lot of stuff floating around. There's not a lot of cover. Most of the time you're either kind of just right on top of the space station or right below it. They are kind of small. They could do some bigger maps or maybe you have in some interior fighting. Um, you know, there are some interiors for these space stations, but they're they're quite small in certain areas. Um, especially when you get to like the domination game mode, the maps can have like smaller interiors. We can hide in corners, but other than that, they're mostly just outside hugging the side of it and you can't get too far away from it. The gunplay and the hit detection is actually pretty good. Um, there are regional servers, and I have ended up with Chinese people in my server, because it is a Chinese game, so of course you're going to get Chinese people. In my server, I'm getting 30 ping, they're getting 350. I have no problem killing them. Uh, you know, most games, when you get a ping difference like that, you're going to run into some issues with the hit detection um, or hits registering. Not this, not at all. I haven't had any problems with that, which is nice, because small, you know, small, certain, you know, player group, games like this you you're always going to get end up with a mismatch of ping um this one doesn't seem to really be affected by it which is awesome uh which means that even when you know you jump on and there's not a lot of people on and you have to end up playing against someone on the other side of the planet it's not going to make an automatic lose for you this really is a unique fps experience uh, i really liked it when i played the closed alpha i'm really looking forward to the longevity of this game um, them working on new weapons new maps new characters new classes uh the meat and potatoes the gameplay here is already 
really fantastic. There's not really much they have to change with this. Um, it would be awesome to see new classes, new type of weapons be introduced, um, you know, different types of maybe cosmetics. Um, there's so much they could really do with this game now that it's finally out and the, the backbone FPS of this actually is working. Um, there's a lot of a lot of fun to be had with this. It's such a unique FPS experience that I actually enjoy it. Uh, I'd rather play this over Call of Duty any day of the week, to be completely honest, because it's something different. Call of Duty is always the same shit every single year. This is a unique FPS experience. Uh, I know we, they've done some zero Gs in the past, um, but this one really has caught my attention. Uh, there's been some really cool FPS games coming out lately that are different from all the other ones. Um, and this one's definitely one of them. It's it's one of those experiences where I'm like, all right, I can have fun with this. You know, using the grapple hook, pull myself around, walking on the edge of stations. The movement alone in this is great. Um, just the whole movement, you know, six degrees, being able to hang onto the side of stuff, walk onto the side of stations with magnetic boots, grapple yourself around, launch EMP grenades out of, the, out of your maneuver pack that you have. There's just a lot going on in this game that's really, really unique. Um, you know, it's not a $60 game. You're, I think it's probably $20 on Steam. I'd say it's worth the shot with everything how stale gaming is right now. I definitely think this is worth a try for a lot of people. It's unique enough. Um, it's not sweaty. Um, you know, anybody can play this. It's it's something that if you've like played, you know, in Star Citizen, you can easily walk around and do your zero G gameplay in this and do good. Uh, you know, it's not sweaty bunny hopping crap. It's just a unique movement system that lets you kind of just be creative with how you approach certain battles. Um, it's fast paced. It's it's fun. The guns are fantastic. The customization for them is awesome. And, you know, other than just the maps, I think it's really good. I think Boundary is a unique experience. Does it have enough power to stay popular or increase its player base? I'm not sure. Um, there's so many FPS games. Um, some make it, some don't. But I feel like every week there's a new FPS game somebody's talking about. And um, at this point, you know, I've seen so many come and go that... You know, despite the uniqueness of this game, the replayability might be there, but I don't know if it's enough to actually keep it going. With how long this development of this game took um, to get to this point of release and how, you know, not many people have even realized that this game has actually released. I don't know if it's enough to keep it around. I think for its price point though, it's at least worth a check. Uh, just because, you know, it's not $60, $70 like some of these other games. And, you know, it's cheap enough to where you might get your money's worth out of it for sure. Um, you know, not as much as like a single player game. God, we need more single player games to come out or co-op games. I'm tired of this multiplayer stuff. But I feel like this multiplayer experience is fun enough for people to try and play, a couple, you know, a good amount of hours into it. I feel like it's definitely enough for people to get their money's worth. It's a unique experience that you don't really get from shooters nowadays. nowadays and... You know, the gunplay and it's awesome, the movement and it's awesome. There's really not much wrong with this. And usually when it comes to shooters, there's always at least something wrong with them. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know. Do you think this game is pretty cool? Is it something that you would like to try out? Do you think it has the uniqueness to make it a long-lasting game? Or do you think it's just going to fizzle and burn out? Let me know down in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.